Right, so very quick video. I'm just filming on my phone, which is kind of stuck on a gorilla pod up there, up there somewhere. So hopefully this is all in focus. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram channel of how I build, how I put a footer on the end of my East Nexus 5mm. Great arrow, very tough, very strong. And I had a couple of questions about do I use the hit in the Eastern Axis hit insert or do I use something else for my footings? Well, the footings I use, it doesn't matter. You can use with either or. I personally don't use the hit insert system. I use an alternative, which I might do a video on another time. But at the moment, let's just do this one. So basically, this is my, obviously my Axis 5 mil. This has just got a fill point in the end, and this is the footing I put on there. Now there are companies that do footings ready to go. Um, uh, Ethics Archery comes to mind. Uh, Day Six Arrows, no, Day Six Arrows is aimed at the micro. Uh, Iron Will, Iron Will, they do one. But you don't have to do that. This I make mine very affordable, very easily, and out of very easily accessible products. So what I use is, let's pop that down there for now. I use the Eastern Aluminium Arrow Shafts. This is the XX75 Classic. And this is the uh, 2016. And I find that that fits perfectly. Absolutely snuggy flush on the end. Snuggy flush, it's a perfect fit. So long and short of it, what I do is when I order this, I usually get my archery shop just to cut them for me. I do it in four centimetre, inch and a half, the other side of the pond, four centimetre lengths, and we're good to go. But just to show you, you don't even have to get them to do that. You can just do this with a simple pipe cutter. This cost me $3 on eBay, $4 on eBay, something like that. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. Okay, hang around. Right, so clear the decks. You will need, you don't need this, I like it, uh, a little mini weighing scale just so I can check the weight of each of my footings. Check that focus, yeah, more or less. There you go. Um, something to clean the shafts inside and out. I use, I just use nail varnish remover because that's what I can nick off her. And q tip, clean it inside. As you can see, the crack that comes out of there, like that. And then I use a bit to clean the outside as well. And then I use both sides. And it's amazing what comes out. Okay. These are already cut to length. I get my um, archery shop. Merlin Archery. Thanks Luke. Thanks Oliver. To cut them to length. And they square the ends for me. So they are precision done. I just forgot to ask them to cut these. So we're going to do it today. So it's no problem at all. So. Um, presuming you've cleaned outside and in, I clean the outside, I haven't given the inside a perfect clean, but I'm not putting the inside in yet, I'm just showing you how to fit the collar, so that's fine. First thing first, obviously, we have to measure four centimetres down, or I'd say an inch and a half from you guys, let's do it from ten. And then I mark it with an exo blade, like that. Then I, you simply take your cutter, drop it in like that, line it up with the mark. <laughs> like that, and then gently snug it down. Don't go cranking it in, because you'll, if you go cranking it in, you'll dent it. So you just put it in a little bit and turn. A little bit more, turn, and a bit more, and there you go. We have four centimeters of aluminium, basically aluminium tubing. Okay. Now, obviously, metal, alley, anything when you cut it, you've now created a nice little burr on there. So what I just do, I get some 400 grit sandpaper, and I just give the end a jam something. The best thing for this is, I'll tell you what is. They come with the axis, it's the little, looks like a little nipple, and it's these little 
squaring tool that you can get from each of them. That's good for this, but this is fine. I do both ends. And this is my workbench at work, so it's a pretty flat surface. I haven't really got to worry too much. Yeah, that's pretty flat. Now, the other thing, you will have a pretty good burr inside too. So what I do, take some of my sandpaper and just roll it up. It needs to be tight in that. Of course it does. I always get, I always get the size wrong. Snigger, chuckle. Now we can judge the difference on the tube. Right, put it in. In the end, and work it around. Do that both ends. Let's get it in the end. And there we have it. If it if you've got rid of the burr, it will slide nice onto the arrow. Obviously, there's a bit more of a burr there. Doesn't matter if it's a bit of a snap fit. Let's do this until you've got a little polished edge on the inside. And there you are. Voila! Obviously, fits up and down the arrow. Voila! If you're using a hit insert, you can do it two ways. You can take the tool, fit your hit insert, wait your 24 hours for your epoxy to dry, and then you can fit this over the top. No problem. Or I've you can if I the one time I did use hit insert for a little while. In fact, I've still got a set of uh, six that I use for a target. Um, or you can just stick it on first, and you can just fit your hit insert as normally. Okay, so that's how I do it. Just cut it nice and easy. And then because this one is going to be a um, target arrow that I'm going to take apart and not keep permanent. If it was going to be one of my permanent hunting arrows, I would use a good two pox, uh, two pox, two pox, wrap saying already, a good uh, two part epoxy and stick it in. Okay. But because this one isn't, I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue just to hold it. Just to hold it. So like, Don't need much because it's only just to hold it on in place. And then I like to do it before I get the insert in because that way there's no danger of getting nice and square. There's no danger of getting any of the hot glue in the threads. And then you put your favourite head of will on. You can just have um, in, in this one. Let's just get this one out. That's a 200 grain field point. All these are 200 grain. 200 grain is my poison. German Jaeger point, 200 grain. That's a nice head. That's a nice head. If you want a conventional, traditional one. If you want a single bevel for a bit of talking action. And some ranch fairy fairy dust that's a a 200 grain ashby from alien archery in australia this thing's been used these things been used on everything from wild boar up to and including asiatic buffalo or if you want to go with the alien archery but you want something a bit more funky this is my pretty much my favorite board head 200 grain matrix single bevel on the sides and back and tanto tip on the front all 200 grains all with the footer dead simple and i hope that helps take care guys